Hey boys! Alright, put the phone down please. Mic up to your mouth. Chewy here. Chewy. And with me, special guest today on the Zappa Backup Podcast is... What's your name? Andrew. And uh, what's your name on Boom Beach? Andrew. No, it's son, uh, son of Chewy. Son of Chewy. Uh, mic up to your mouth. So, uh, hi guys. So, uh, I said we just do a, a quick video there. Drick goes on to me. No, I've been trying to get somebody else to come on because uh, I can take phone calls, but he's he's only got the game on his phone. Uh, if you want to do this, you have to have the computer get it, get it on blue stacks. Okay, what is the plan? The plan today is I want to go through a few um, kind of basic principles of attacking in operations and probably all all kinds of attacking. I said I was going to do this the last time and I didn't. Uh, I actually wanted to speak to Nomad because he's good on this kind of thing. Uh, so just on a quick, if I forget anything, let me know straight away, all right? But it's just a few basic premises. Uh, I actually got the music on this time. Bit of a, another bit of um, drum and bass from the 90s. I like a bit of drum and bass from time to time. So, um, okay. All right. Uh, uh, also, what I'm going to do is... Um, I am going to just highlight a few of the attacks in Upper Lip. Now, we've been, before the boys join, joined from ID2, uh, we were having a bit of difficulty with Hacksaw. Uh, as I said in my last video, we lost Troopers. We lost a very big hitter there. And then they, they brought in the um, prototype defenses, uh, which, m you know, Basically, the operations are way tougher than what they were. I personally haven't been able to take down any base single-handedly since, I think. No, I know Nomad did a good job there now uh, on the, the, one, the one before, which we cleared handy enough, actually, in the end. Hacksaw, so I said, Drico said, let's go up the upper lip. He said, no hassle, yeah. So I'm glad to say that we got it done. You know, we're up to 24 members at the moment, so there's going to be a question mark later. Are we going to go try and go 50, or are we just try and keep it nice and cute, cuddly, like myself? At, at the 25 mark, there's uh, probably one or two questions about one or two guys, their commitment. But at the same time, look, we're not, we're not, um, we're not Nazis anymore. That word's being bandied around a lot at, at the moment. But like, you know, as long as uh, people, you know, do their fair share, bring in 10 till, 10 until a week, that's all we, we're asking for. And just, you know, keep your hands in at the ops. Look, we, we don't ask, we're not asking for 100% commitment anymore because uh, personally, I can't do it. Drick goes in the same, Nomad is in the same. But as long as we just share the load a bit, you know, I we don't want to be a top uh, 50 um, task force. We just want to just go out, have a nice op, do a special op every now and again. You know, just keep keep a country, just keep keep the hand in the game. Like I'm actually having more fun now with this son. I'm playing the son of Chewy account myself. I'll be honest with you, uh, with the young fella plays it when he's uh, when he's here with me, when he's at his mother's, he isn't a ho have a hope of it. Like so, I'm just goofing around. So I'll actually talk about that later. So okay. Uh, first of all, so uh, we look at. I'll just bring up the. Uh, come on, boys. So just look there. There's our happy force. So what are we gonna do? I want to look at the last operation. Um, as I said, we did it in. 14 attacks out of 24. I know there was some guys arrived in afterwards. So the Nomad kicked it off in, in wall up there. How did he do? We just, uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into every attack at all, right? Especially um those tank attacks are boring as um but look Darren, Darren was was in a, a ID one and then he was he was in ID two as well. I don't know. Look, I don't know exactly what happened with in, in ID two. Uh, can you actually go back over there, please? Uh, maybe somebody can can let us straight. But the funny thing was, is that actually myself, Nomad, and uh, Drico were chatting on Kick uh, last week, and we were saying, "What are we going to do?" Because we we were after losing a few members, as I said. And I said, "Look, we need we need to merge with somebody or doing a major recruitment drive." So I did a vi the last video. I did I kind of posted it up on the the forum there, hoping to get a few newbies. And it wasn't really happening for us, like, you know, so it was like, yeah. 
you know sometimes forces can you get a bit, bit, bit cheesed off like so like the the lads coming back now is a real breath of fresh air kind of just a rejuvenation so big up to Darren Heinstein who's a buddy of Dricko's Claire man uh, he was probably he, he was pretty low level actually when he came into a ID1 that time then he's, he spent most of his time in ID2 Richie who's been in the force for a fucking hell of a long time and it's funny now seeing all the uh, Richie knows up in his 40 odds like and he was like way well, well I was kind of in between Dricko but I'm at basically at the same level as Dricko now um, uh, he's actually after going on a bit of a splurge lately right? he's gone ahead of me again and Mad Biker a bit of a good night, nice old chat with my Mad Biker at all hours in the morning last night so big up to the lads nice one great to, great to see you back all, all, all comrades and uh as I said, I don't know what happened in ID2. Uh, like, actually, Dricko was taking the blame. It was actually my idea to set up ID2 day one. And then there was, in whatever way, it just there was just a resentment there straight from the off. Like, and I was getting pissed off. Then I went back to ID1 and Dricko had to go back. Well, I just, I wasn't feeling the love in ID1. And then the whole um, personality clashes, <laughs> shall we say, there. So I kind of went off and did my own thing for a while. Went from force to force. Kind of did a nomad on it. Set up my own kind of five-man force with another guy. Couldn't do anything. Then I just kind of bumped into Nomad. And uh, we're sure, look, we're here now. Look, it's a bit of fun, a bit of laugh. There's no pressure, no hassle. blah de blah Okay, so the, the t- t- couple of other guys that's joining us well recently. Uh, Valentine, 2009, I think. Is it? Uh, 2019. So he's there about a week or so. And he's yeah, chipping away. He's low, low level. And I don't actually know nothing about Bubba Gump or Atrav. They just joined the last few days as well. I don't think they were in ID2. But lads, you know, just come on, say hello on the chat. Because that's the one thing, if you're not active on the chat, and all of a sudden there's a bit of a slippage, like, you know, we've kicked we've kicked four or five guys already. It was basically, that there, there was n- nothing do- doing there, like, you know, we want we want a bit of crack and a bit of force. And obviously, like, we have our own website, which Nomad is doing. So, like, get on there, put your avatar. Look, it's a bit, a bit, of, a, a bit of fun. Like, we had an issue with a guy there saying he was too, too old to have an avatar. Look, <laughs> look, we're all kids at heart. That's why we're playing this bloody game, you know. Uh, okay, let's go in and have a look at Darren's attack and Smog City. And I actually want to do is I'm going to just talk about oh, uh, what it's going on. I'm actually, I'm not going to uh, commentate on it. I just hope it's a good attack. Oh. Turn off the mic, please. This this fella know we wanted to be on a video all the time, and of course he's no interest whatsoever. So he's getting barrage. All right, so like basically what I was going to go all right, go back to okay. Attacking principles. Now, the one thing that Nomad used to always say: scout three times, attack once. And like, you know what I'm saying? Scout, go in, have a look, see what what the tough um, what the tough um, turrets are, and come up with a bit of a tactical plan. You know, find out the range of the rocket launchers. Like, obviously, the, the, the chief big ones every time: boom cannons, rocket launchers, and the shock launchers. I know. They got the special defenses as well. So, like, find out the, where the range of them are, uh, how strong they are, and, you know, just do your homework, right? Um, obviously, read the notes. No, I know I'm allergic to doing notes. It's just like it's like doing homework. Dricko is a master of them, and he's, he, he seems to... He's got a way of doing them. Like, you know, when I used to do them in in, uh, in ID1 before... I used to be kind of sarcastic and shit, like, but uh, that doesn't really wash it anymore, you know. My old passive aggressive days, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting over, over that a small bit, like. The other thing I've got here is look, read the chat that's gone on beforehand, yeah. So find out. I like the and the third point I've got here is, um, and it's, this is the most important, like, especially if you're doing a follow up attack. Can you can you look at the previous what the previous guy has done? No, if he's made a fuck up learn from that and if he's done something right follow follow him in like there's a lot of times like there was i, I don't want to be going on about it again but the last time five attacks in a row did exactly the same thing they sent their piss weak level three level four level five whatever fuck they were level six tanks into super booms uh about six 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 or seven boom cannons and a load of towers and sure yeah what happens they, they got made mince meat of and uh, we didn't complete the up. We didn't get the, the the max reward. Like, and I'm just banging my head off the fucking wall, going, you know, can you can you not just if just if they just changed their troops to rifles or heavies and zooks or whatever, it would give us a chance. But like, 
tanks do not go well against boom cannons it's simple so just you know look at what's happened before and learn uh point three of here the same thing look check in in the chat beforehand ask for advice or just lay out your plan and see what people say like um obviously if there's nobody around bang away like whatever just basically like two heads are better than one so you know it's common sense you know uh next point i got here is crippled bases and i'm kind of banging and banging the drum here again like the last time somebody uh a, a, le a high level 40 crippled base was down to you know peanuts don't don't no no health basically two or three bangs of a of a barrage or an artillery takes it down and there's like the likes of slender nuts my own son of chewy you know well like oh, Jesus, I, can, I couldn't actually take anything down at the moment i'm s at such a low level i think my uh i don't have a barrage yet and my artillery it doesn't even fight, go a thousand at a go like um but you know leave it to the low guys they'll come in and and they'll say you know there's work if there's work to be done on another uh base go to the next base you know but it just annoys me uh you know there's work to be done in the next base so get your level 10 tanks or whatever the bloody hell you got get onto the next base leave it leave the glory look there's no glory in this game there's no room for glory hunters in this task force we go in to get the job done and that's the end of the story we, we reap the rewards afterwards um so yeah basically leave that to the bottom three uh true my other thing is look patience stroke army horses for courses okay look you've got you've got your troops loaded up uh we've got 24 hours to do the, op the operation so like just basically kind of uh, following on from the point i made previously about sending tanks into boom cannons don't send your riflemen into where it's all all um rocket launchers so basically look have patience wait for an opportunity there that either if you've got an army loaded wait until it's the right time to go for that army or if it's kind of getting down late uh, you have to change your troops but simple as that like change if, if we need heavy zookas if we, if we need rifle zookas change change up your army we don't if you if tanks can't do it you know get get them up oh two seconds let's just do a quick uh Hello, sorry about that there, boys. Uh, son of Chewy's mother of Son of Chewy uh, turned up there with a go. So uh, uh, peace has broken out since again. So uh, young fella's gone. Um, all right, so where was I? Can't remember actually where I was saying. Oh, but I think I actually made up basically made up all the points I had to say about attacking. And the other thing as well is like if you can uh, use have your um, have your statues boosted so try and you know if you can tie it in your op attack with with your um when you're doing your general attacking like dr terror that's what i usually try and do try and get them all in together uh so you're, you're not wasting any any statues so get your you know, get your gb up and all gb up and all that crack uh oh yeah and the other thing as well uh, just that I, one of my old phobias that i used to have in 81 is it if you're going to use your gb can you just use your gb before you're beaching because i find well it's if you know actually with the, with the blue stacks it's hard to do everything like but like if you know if you're going to use a barrage especially at the key defenses like your rocket launchers your booms the same thing can you just throw your couple of shots of artillery your couple of shots of of uh barrage and obviously save your your enough gb then for your shocks your smoke or whatever else you want to do and your flares and um obviously try and get a, a double tap if you can in between and obviously the other thing is like you know when you're doing your, this goes back to the whole scouting thing as well know how much gb you have know how much each artillery shot is going to cost you. obviously it's three for the first one five for the second one seven for the third nine uh, I know it's 24 for the first four shots. I know how much damage each shot does. So if it's like, if you're getting 4,000 per shot and the um, target is 18,000, you know it's going to take, um, it's going to take five shots. 
and try you know try and get the max out of it you know your bar- i think the barrage is actually after kind of tightening up a bit as well sometimes the, you were getting uh, obviously don't barrage a single target if there's two or three clumped together barrage it otherwise just use an artillery on those single targets out of the way because that's you're just wasting your gb there like you know and kind of tied in with that as well as power cells like you know obviously try and farm the power cells for gb but like use the gb then against turrets don't be just as my old you know, i used to say before having a game of flares in amongst the power cells now funny enough i did actually do that myself <laughs> but uh you know i i don't that's all right I, i'm allowed to do that like so um we just have a yeah look i'll show that what i did there so this is my son of chewy account so i'll just look at my battle here and i was just basically waiting for a little where i could get snipe because uh as i said like even when i did this now i couldn't i got the full four minutes out of it i'll actually just put it up, put this up to double speed um so i'm just there yeah all i could do <laughs> With flares like last about two seconds you have to keep flare flare bum 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 and uh it takes about two minutes of the boys pounding on the power cell to uh and the girls of course the old zooka don't forget our female fans to take it down so uh the lads were taking the piss out of me there like um saying it was you know wasting all the gb but like you know think of the next guy coming up along so maybe leave a small bit of gb there if you're if you're not going to get the job done and another thing that uh nomad always says as well if you're not going to take the base down think of the guy that's coming behind you so just try and you know if you, if you can just have a clear plan going in take don't take down two or three turrets but just have a have a plan you know i always try and i always say be like a golfer you know you can see the putt going into the hole like you know can envision which way your attack is going to go obviously look we all we all have fat fingers we all make fuck ups here and there like but it's not you know there's nothing worse than a fellow going in not having a clue and i've seen it like a few times there now recently uh i'm actually going to point the finger like some sometimes it's brilliant lee has done some brilliant attacks and then some other times then it's like especially like you're going in with up with with like the mixed bag the mixed bag of all sorts as i call it and um, it's very hard to control like tanks zookas heavies medics every, uh, one of everything like you know we do special ops that like but like lads you know you should be trying to you know, obviously, Zookas work well with heavy. Zookas work well with rifles and medics. Tanks work well with medics. But, like, you know, unless you're a genius, get them, get them to all work together. That They're not uh, an optimum force. Like, so just think about that. But at the same time, look, be creative. I'm not going to say you have to do this. Like, you know, there's there's some great um, there's some great uh, attack strategies out there. The Smoky Zooka, which I hope to uh, attempt or conquer someday. And obviously the, the one thing no i think we're back the same old boat again we do, we've, we've nobody that's, that's a really good uh warrior guy so i'm actually hoping to uh n- that no i'll just uh, i'll have a bit of a laugh here now as well uh i put up i shared it at, at uh my one of my base defenses there will it go i'll just go into the into the chat here so chinese takeaway here we go yeah i don't actually uh, the uh the reason i have this son of chewy account is i uh my Android phone is up to spout, so I got a, I got a loan of an Apple, so I just set up a, a, a little baby account, and I'm just taking a piss, basically, like, but it's, um, I am just going all offense, and I'm just go- using uh, rifles and zookas, I do tanks and, and uh, medics, obviously, later on, and not, I, 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 I'm not a heavy fan, I don't use heavies, so in my, um, and I'm not spending anything on defense, <laughs> So basically everything is going into uh into into attack into landing craft and troops and i'm just maxing out my um what's that bloody thing called my vault and i'm trying to get as many uh resources up so i've actually got my statues going as well though i'll just be going all offense on the statues obviously gbe all the dark and make my use troop damage and stuff so uh uh Heinstein was going oh my god what's what's happening here like but well, basically it's just taking a piss but like the funny thing is right uh the other day there i got um i haven't been attacked that w- i've only been attacked about four or five times yet i suppose it's early days yet but my medal count is gone up uh i'm nearly hit i'm, 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 I'm thinking about 90 medals now 
and it's about level Town Hall 5, Town Hall 6 or HQ 6. Um, I thought that I'd be getting attacked away more. Because even there, no, what did I... I just go... Even there, no, um, I, did, I lost nothing, sure. I'm just basically, I'm doing my, I'm doing my updates as we go along. Um, have a quick look at that there, no. I lost 221 gold, <laughs> 678 wood, uh, 35. <laughs> to laugh like um so like i'm losing nothing you know so it's just a bit of a, it's just a bit of fun there and i'm actually ha i'm actually you know i'm not doing too bad here on the old uh on the intel front there like they're all taking the piss on me like yeah i'm a very nine middle of 13 intel like you know I'm, I'm i'm paying my way like say nothing say nothing and keep saying it as the man says okay um do we have anything else to say oh yeah but it's doing that Look at another attack. Uh, did I? Well, we'll, do, we'll have a look at Heinstein's attack. Trico, Trico, kind of, uh, he. Trico got onto Heinstein and he offered him, obviously, a big, huge transfer fee, fame and fortune if he comes down to us. He was selling the whole video thing, like, so the Heinstein jumped. Next thing is a, there's a, there's a rush. In, in ID2 and uh, RAP ID2 it looks like so that, you know it doesn't uh, I actually as I said earlier on I actually I set it up Um. so it, it does actually pay me so Heinstein he's come a long way now I wonder is he still I used to be giving out to him in the old days I said look change your statues man fuck's sake you're going around there with 10% boost in gold and you know I said just go offense and I was you know, I'm, pure, I'm, like, oh, I'm pure offense man like Uh. But actually, lately enough, though, on my main account, I have actually have got have gone for the pro defense, gone full metal jacket and the pro defense and stuff. I'm getting a nice bit of um, of intel out of it, alright, yeah. And I'm I'm using ice statues as well now, again. But I think you kind of have to at the moment when you go up, when you go up to higher levels. I'm going to try and stay at um, I'm going to try and stay at that middle level as well, like. Sorry about this, no, I'm just trying to get this bloody thing to play games with us. So yeah, nice heavy zooka there. I think you put a nice little hole in here. So, over 40 seconds, just going to work. Nice and build it, building out with a nice little patch of real estate there to get the bridgehead going. So Heinstein, I'll give you, I'll, your, the attack was short enough anyway, and he's banging in his, hitting the old, um, the shock. Boom, 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 going to town on the power cells. And does he get, does he do the business on the shock launcher? Heavies. Well, it's looking dodgy here, I'd say. Obviously, he doesn't have the, uh, he's not got HQ19 yet. He hasn't got the, uh, my new favorite troop, the critters. Like, I'm uh, kind of using them like half as a shield, half as an attack force. They're kind of like little... They're like little mini riflemen, really. Like they're very handy. So that was Heinstein. Big up to you there, Heinstein. You kind of uh, open the door there to a new, a new era. So there's Lee's attack, boy, mem, and actually we love. Uh, who else is it going to do? I didn't son of Jade there, and Heinstein. And we just finish off here with Sudsy. He took it home, and I, I love some of Sudsy's attacks. Like he. Um, He's got a lovely way of smoking and flaring to get the most out of it. I'm actually going to uh, max it up here a bit now. So where does he go? It's all Zooks, is it? Yeah, he's, he's he thinks he thinks he thinks the game through nicely. Like, gets the old zooks over and the heavies. Yeah, I mean, I, I love a guy that thinks about where he's dropping his troops rather than you know, I was going on an early go, just all the mixed bag of troops and just leaving them all off at the same time. Obviously, like, um, your troops go at a different pace. Obviously, the heavies are quicker than the than the zookas. And that was a nice way he deployed him there. Now he dropped the 
picked up a few sp spare GB there when he dropped the Zookas and let the heavies go to work on the on the cells. Boom boom. Minute or so left here. And I, I love the way the the boys arc around here now. Picking up and uh, you see another you know, the wall of death heading towards the core and just uh, an old tour there hitting away but he's wasting his time there most of the heavy work has been done already I suppose so he's a nice he's a li I love Sudsy's work with the flare the shock and the smoke there's a nice little move here again now he's like he's a, he's a bit like Ronaldo with the old uh, or Messi with the old fancy footwork with the flare so the boys are going to town are coming under, under a bit of attack here now in the flame drawer so it flares back and this is ah, it's lovely like two quick smokes there now Zuka's hitting a heel ah, lovely 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 another bit of a heel there again and look that core is going down nicely getting melted yeah, I suppose the, he was lucky enough. Yeah, well, he, he must have known that that the uh, the Zooks were out of range of everything else. Like, uh, and the heavies are in the smoke, and they're still are, are they still going to town? Not too sure if they're still going to town. Anyway, there she goes. Fluke down, and uh, I think that was the first time that we actually got through upper lip on a baited. What's the next one up? Now we're going to do a special up later on. Um Drico is asking for the one boat with medics, so we'll probably kick that off in a minute, alright? We've got sixty-six into there now. I'll have a quick look. Um so I'll just back to base here now. Boobs, really Drico? Yeah? Really? Unbelievable kid, I swear to God. And he's all talking, oh, come on, come on. So look, without further ado, I do, do, do. I'll say, good day to you, sir. Um, I'm on tr track six there now on the other jungly. So, Chewy, aka Mick says good boy good day to you sir warning cork spoken here so it gives a like gives a share and it gives a good few comments there as well lads uh, and sign up on the zappabacca.com that's uh not nomads baby there like get yourself as i said earlier on get yourself your avatar and have a bit of fun so enjoy leave you another song of the music here at the bass. <laughs> 